Hello and good afternoon. My name is Nick Lair. I'm the Community Engagement Director for Vanna Adventure Vans. Today we're here to tell you about D&D's 170 Extended Mercedes Sprinter. Today we're going to show you a little bit about what makes a Vanna van special. So this is going to be one of our EK2 models. E stands for extended and the K2 will indicate it's got your off-grid power system, including your 12 volt AC, as well as a full shower. So come on in. So first, one of the things that you're gonna notice is our second row seat. So the cool thing about this seat is it actually will fold down to where this table's at and make a spot for your third bed. So this is gonna be a drive four, sleep three. As you also notice, we've got premium leather in the uh, build. We've got our 360 cameras. And so this is gonna be a really, really nice uh, rig for grandma and grandpa to be able to travel with some littles. Next, we're gonna take a look at our Rivati 15 by 15 inch sink. This gives us plenty of room to do all of our dishes. Also includes inlays to be able to protect from adding any debris that would go down your drain. As you can see, we also have our Guzzle H2O instant water filter, allowing you fresh filtered water whenever you're on the road. And then under here, we have a single burner propane cooktop that's hidden under the Corian countertop. Gives you a little extra counter space while you're working. And to make it even better, we can flip up to add additional counter space for when you're cooking. Next, we're gonna take a look at the shower. So what we have included in here is a real fully ceramic tile, and then that is actually using a siliconized grout to be able to stand up to any vibrations that the vehicle is gonna undergo. So as you can see, this kitchen has a lot of cabinetry space. This couple is gonna be using this vehicle for doing extended trips. So we have lots of storage for our toiletries, goodies, can works. We use a push button uh, hardware to be able to make sure that we don't have any doors flying open when we're on the road. And then this one also includes one of the biggest refrigerators that we've actually put in a unit. So this refrigerator is gonna be able to store all of those goodies that you're gonna need while you're out and about. So this is gonna be our primary command center. So over here, you can take a look at our Victron energy display. What this is gonna be able to tell you is exactly what your AC and DC loads are gonna be, what our solar panels are gonna be doing, what our fresh water tank, wastewater tanks at, and exactly where our battery charges. This makes it really easy to be able to monitor when you're away from your vehicle. And we can actually tap into these systems from anywhere in the world. If you're out on the road, you're having issues, as long as you have cell phone reception or a hotspot, then we can be able to tap in and be able to accurately diagnose your systems. Next, we're gonna have our max air fan control. And so this is a nice little handy dandy control that you can use from your bed while you're uh, resting. So over here, we'll go ahead and turn it on. This system has 10 speeds in and 10 speeds out, and also includes a rain guard to make sure that you're not gonna have any trouble if there's some acclimate weather when you're on the road. There's a couple ways to adjust the system. You can go speeds up or down. You can rotate in or out, depending on what your ventilation needs are. Or if we're having some extra rain, we can manually adjust as well to be able to restrict that flow. So as you see, I'm lounging in the bed. I'm doing this because I've got this awesome 12 volt Dometic AC unit that's keeping me cool while I'm out on the road. So next we're gonna take a look at our Victron energy system. So what you see under here is a 660 amp system. This is gonna be able to give us off-grid power for as long as our, we're gonna need it on the road. Vanna uses three ways to be able to charge our systems. So this vehicle is actually equipped with 300 watts of solar on top. We'll have shore power plugins on the side to charge up whenever you're at home or at a campsite. And then we also install a secondary alternator to be able to fast charge as opposed to using a traditional DC-DC charger. Vanna uses a wake speed, which optimizes our fast charging. Another core piece of technology that you're gonna find in a Vanna van is our hydronic hot water heater. This van has a 30 gallon tank of water that allows you to do all of your showering, all of your cooking needs, 
and we even have that instant hot water accessible through the back. Vanna utilizes a lot of space maximizing optimizations. So one of the things that we do is we'll have fold down tables. So then when we're out cooking, we've got plenty of workspace to be able to grill, prep food, whatever we might need to do. All of our vans are rated to 30 below Fahrenheit. And so one of our core pieces of technology that allows us to do that is the Eberschbacher heater. Located under the passenger seat, this heater allows us to be able to endure all of those extreme temperatures. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Fiamma F65 Eagle. So this automatic awning gives us the ability to adjust based off of what amount of coverage we want, but it also includes an automatic wind sensor. So when we start to get into turbulent winds, it starts to kick up a little bit, it's gonna automatically retract. One of the nice things about that is the most common insurance claim for RVs is actually awnings. And so this is gonna be able to save you a big headache and possibly a big expense if something were to happen. Fully extended, this awning is eight feet, eight inches, giving you plenty of room to enjoy your time outdoors.